Hello everyone, welcome to Eurovision Stars channel. This is Eurovision Stars news and today we will know better who is really, who will represent Denmark at Eurovision 2023 in Liverpool. Let's check. Really, the full name uh, is Rainy Pedersen, born on 24th November 1997. Known professionally as Rayleigh, is a pharaoh's Danish singer, a social media influencer and a TikTok star. Rayleigh was born in Torshaun, Faroe Islands, and he is the first um, singer at Eurovision from Faroe Islands. He was born in a family of engineer father and a bioanalyst mother. He has two sisters. Riley was first introduced to music at the age of six uh, when he began taking piano lessons. Riley is an extremely popular person on the social media TikTok, where he has more than 10 million of followers. Prior to TikTok, Riley posted content on Instagram. His first video on TikTok has gotten 10 million views, which brings him to 150,000 followers in one two weeks. Riley's content mainly consists of him singing covers or songs in front of a solid colorful background, although he has also posted content such as trends. Let's check. Why uh, Riley is so popular on TikTok? I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling alright. Baby, I'm at the best fucking night of my life. And wherever it takes me, I'm down for the ride. Baby, don't you know I'm good? Yeah, I'm feeling alright. Uh, Riley's popularity on TikTok led him to sign a record deal with Atlantic Records. His debut single, A Let It Ring, which was released on March 2021, is reported to have gone viral in South Korea. Um, Riley co-directed the song's um, music video also. The song is about Riley's not being able to cut off a person who wasn't good to him. The song features the first uh, licensed sample of the official iPhone ringtone. Riley also has been very successful in South Korea, where he's both performed and recorded music with popular K-pop bands. Okay, uh, how Riley gets to Melody Grand Prix and uh, at the end to Eurovision? Let's check. Riley's road to the Melody Grand Prix. 2023 uh, crown wasn't so easy. At the end of January, the Danish newspaper um, Extra Bladet reported that young TikTok star was in danger of being disqualified from this year's competition because the song had been performed in, at the concert in Seoul back in October 2022 could be breached of the rules uh, Melody Grand Prix uh, that a uh, participating song can't uh, be promoted before release. Despite this, it was later confirmed that he would not be disqualified and would compete. Rayle was announced on uh, February 2023 as one of the eight competitors of Melody Grand Prix with the song Breaking My Heart. Dunk's Melody Grand Prix took place on Saturday, 11 February, uh, after first round of voting, three songs from eight competing acts advanced to the super final, including Riley's song Breaking My Heart. Uh, in the super final, uh, Riley got 15% uh, from televotes and 28% from jury, which is very impressive and was crowned as the winner of Dansk Melody Grand Prix 2023. Uh, 
uh, what about Riley's song Breaking My Heart? Breaking My Heart was written by Riley himself along with uh, three more um, songwriters. Riley says about his song and staging. Breaking My Heart is a kind of toxic love story where I romanticize someone who makes me feel great even if the relationship is not good for me. I think it's a colorful song and uh, it has a lot of great possibilities as far as staging and performance and I hope to bring that to life on the big stage. I think that would be definitely that Riley look and the Riley vibe. So we can wait something exceptional. Who is Riley's musical inspirations? Riley has many musical uh, inspirations um, as Lizzo, Bruno Mars, Charlie Puth and he was growing watching Justin Bieber which uh, looks like a role model for Riley. Also a young, nice guy, popular on social media, who starts to sing after, so yeah. And of course, he is a huge fan of the whole big K-pop world. Riley is also a big Eurovision fan himself, as uh, he uh, says. And his favorite song is Lorin's Euphoria, which is not very original, but it's true, one of the best ever Eurovision songs. And some interesting facts about Riley. He has been doing photography and videography since he was 12. So it's not surprising that he found himself in TikTok and he is also helping to uh, produce his music videos. He has a dog called Bianca. That's sweet. He moved to London to do a year of college. So that was a rally story and his uh, way to Eurovision. Uh, you can find all information about Rally and all his social media links on our website. Link in the uh, description on this video. And stay tuned because we are posting uh, such videos about all Eurovision 2023 participants. And don't forget to like and subscribe not to miss our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.